This is a question that I get asked pretty often by both clients and students. What is the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com besides the domain name? WordPress.org is where you're going to find the free open source version of WordPress. And you can see I'm on WordPress.org. I can click up here where it says Get WordPress. And that's going to give me the option to download and install WordPress myself. Or it's going to give me some recommended hosting providers that I can use to install it for me. If you want to download and install WordPress yourself, you do need to have a web server that's got some minimum requirements. It needs at least PHP 7.4 or greater and MySQL 5.7 or MariaDB 10.4 or greater. So you've got those minimum requirements. The hosting providers, they give you some recommended hosts. Those aren't necessarily the hosts that I would recommend. I use some particular WordPress hosts like Flywheel, WP Engine, and Kinsta for a lot of my client websites, but they have some other hosts here as well. And so WordPress.org, you can install it anywhere that has those minimum requirements or the hosting provider can set it up for you. And then you can install any free plugins or lots of free plugins. You can see here if I go to extend and then go to plugins, I can install any of the free plugins in the free WordPress plugin repository. And you can also install any free theme or any, in a lot of cases, the themes and the plugins are what are considered freemium. So you can install it for free. So for example, for Cadence, you can install that for free. And then they have a pro or a premium upgrade where you can pay annual license costs to get some more functionality and get some more starter templates and things like that. So that's what you can get with WordPress.org. WordPress.com is a little bit different. So you can see here, this is the WordPress.com website. And WordPress.com is basically a hosting provider for WordPress. So if you went back and looked at WordPress.org at the recommended hosts, you would see that WordPress.com is listed there. Now you can get a free website on WordPress.com. So you can see here, if I go to the plans and pricing, they do have a free plan. But you're very limited on what you can do there. You can't install plugins. You cannot install themes. You can see you need at least a, uh, well, they have themes that are installed with it. So you can use those themes. But if you wanted to install your own theme or your own plugins, you would need to have the creator, which is $25 a month. And frankly, you can get WordPress hosting for less than that with other providers that are going to give you all of the same features and then some. So that's that's one thing to keep in mind. And WordPress.com has, it's a sort of modified version of WordPress on the back end. So it's going to look a little bit different than if you were using it on one of the recommended or even not recommended hosting providers. So if you're just using WordPress from WordPress.org on Flywheel, Kinsta, WP Engine, SiteGround, or one of those other hosting providers, the back end is going to look a little bit different from what you see on WordPress.com. So that is the biggest difference between the two. WordPress.org, you can host it anywhere. WordPress.com is a hosting provider specifically for WordPress. If you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.